Hello my friends and welcome to the installation guide for Battletech Extended and Battletech Extended Commander Edition. Um, there's very little difference to the process uh, in terms of installing both of these, but there is a big difference in the feature set. So uh, Battletech Extended uh, supports the campaign and does not have Galaxy at War <clears throat> and a load of other sort of game-changing uh, updates and modifications and all that kind of thing. Um, anyway, feel free to research the feature list. This guide is just on how to install them both and hopefully get you guys running. So first things first, uh, install Battletech clean from scratch. Um, if you had mods previously, there's my clean uninstallation guide. <clears throat> from a base installation, open up the, property, uh, the properties of Battletech Make sure that you have cloud saves disabled, which uh, is uh, here. And turn off automatic updates as well. So only update this game when I launch it and untick the Steam Cloud synchronization for Battletech. <clears throat> Once those two things are done, go to local files and click browse local files. And in here, create a new folder called mods with a capital M, and then just leave this open, we'll come back to it. Okay, so now you need to download it. So, <clears throat> you want to go to Nexus Mods, you need to create an account and sign in. You cannot download without an account. And you are looking for Nexus Mods, forward slash Battletech, forward slash Mods, forward slash 387, which is uh, Battletech uh, extended main page. And then you also require the asset bundle, which is uh, 393. <clears throat> you can also get to the, uh, the asset bundle from the requirements tab of uh, Battletech Extended's main page. Okay, so download the community bundle first. And the one that you want, if you click the files tab, the one that you want is the one that's called cab. 3025 edition single folder. You want this one, you don't want the other ones. <clears throat> it will go horribly wrong if you download the other ones. You will note here that it says that this condensed version is made specifically for BEX and BEX CE. So that just confirms to you that that's the right one. Download that and uh, stick it on your desktop. I've already downloaded it because it's massive and uh, I wanted to save some time. Um, once you've downloaded it, you don't need this page anymore. The next thing is under Battletech's, Battletech Extended's page, um, under Bex's page, I'm just going to call it Bex from now on to save myself eating the word, the words. Um, <clears throat> go to Files, and in here you have Extended and you have Commander's Edition. Just download the one that you want. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I have downloaded the uh, Commander's Edition, but you can download the standard. Uh, extended as well and use that. You can't use them both at the same time, obviously. Should be obvious. Um, it's one or the other. It's up to you whether you want the campaign and just lots of extra mechs and content, but very few gameplay changes, or whether you want the whole Galaxy at War, taking over the world, pilot quirks, um, gameplay changes experience that comes with the Commander Edition. So for the purposes of this, I have downloaded the Commander's Edition 1, but if you are going to install um, just plain Bex, it's the exact same method. Okay, so you have those two files, you've downloaded them to your desktop. What you need to do now is open up the cab first. In here you'll see a folder called Community Asset Bundle with a load of stuff in it. You want to then open up your Battletech directory that you opened up previously. Here's your mods folder that you created open up that mods folder and just dump community asset bundle folder into it. It needs to be directly in the mods folder. And just wait for that extraction to complete. It's a huge, huge file, 1.8, 1.9 gig. So it will take a little while. And uh, Nexus Mods caps you to a download of one megasecond. So downloading it will be painful. Just kick it off and come back to it after like an hour or so, you'll, you'll have it. Okay, so we're just waiting for that to finish. 
Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay. We'll break out into song. Okay, so now that the community asset bundle is installed, you no longer require that. You can delete it if you wish. I just put it to one side in case you need it. The next thing is to open up the Battletech Extended folder. And in here you will find a load of stuff. And what you want to do is just drag all of it so you have it all selected. Windows 7 has delightfully decided to close my windows for me. Wrong Battletech folder. Here we go, mods folder. And then just, let's do this again, just drag it all into the mods folder. This, by the way, is the Battletech audio. I've been working on that. Uh, I've been working on Battletech's audio. So I'm trying to make, make a mod at the moment. An audio mod should be pretty cool once it's done. <clears throat> okay, so once again, this will take a little while because it's got to extract everything. Now, if you are installing BEX, it's the exact same process, except that the BEX folder will just have a lot less stuff in it. There is an installer version of BEX, which my previous guide covers. Um, and I don't know whether we'll be going back to that in the future or not, or uh, whether BEX will just have a folder installation like this. Um, so if you encounter an, an installer instead, if you download BEX and you just see an EXE installer instead, you just run the EXE. And I have, I have a guide for that. The previous guide covers that installation. A vast majority of people want Commander Edition, so this is the installation process for now. Okay, and then we're we are done. It is as simple as that. Now, just a note from here: if you have done a completely clean uninstall before starting this installation process, you will need to go into the mods folder. You will need to find the mod tech folder, which will be in here somewhere. Mod tech, there we go. And you will need to right click run an, as an administrator the mod tech injector.exe before you run the game. It doesn't matter if you uh, watch the original video, this is a retake where uh, I, I failed to do this step. You can just do this step after and it will be completely fine. Um, the step is only ever required once. Unless you uh, unless you completely cleanly uninstall and then uh, you have to do it again. So that was just a step I missed in the original cut of this guide, and uh, I've just cut in here to uh, to add it. Sorry if that's a bit jarring, um, but yeah, and now it will work. Um, obviously, if you'd modded before, it was just a case of deleting your mods folder and then starting from that point. Um, I just I recommend a clean uninstall because there are certain mods that do inject files into the file structure and that can cause all kinds of problems. So that is it. BattleTech command uh, BattleTech Extended Commanders Edition is now installed. Um, I hope you found this guide helpful, and I will see you guys next time.